Oh, thanks to Stu for those earlier races. I've got three Group 1s going up at Kempton. But first of all, the Tommy Whittle handicap chase from Haydock, a three mile 0 to 140. And at the top, Milton Damarel for Darren Thompson. Meguro Blade, Padraig Hogan, Ash Kalara favourite, David Robertson. Magic Contract, Craig Beckwith, Ministry of Science. Paul Rhodes, Gale on the River, Martin Lidham, Home Run, Kevin Meanham, Lindy O, Patrick Hogan, Ruffle Bar, a Graham Clutterbuck, Cirque for Martin Lidham, Zartina Actress, Alex Cherry, Dock of the Bay Most and Spree Inlet, both for Thomas Rogers and Broadhurst and Matt Cooper. 14 runners then, and away they go, starting at the winning post. They've got two full complete circuits of this Haydock Park track to negotiate. And Lindy O. In the yellow with the black sleeves, the first of Padraig Hogan's horses is the early leader. The pace seems to be a little bit slow enough and all that keen to take the race by the scruff of the neck. And they're going quite steadily as they make their way towards the first of 18 fences. Padraig Hogan's pair, Lindio and Maguro Blade, are up there to the four with Cirque down on the near side. On the inside is Ruffle Bar looking towards the back. Broadhurst will jump the first in last place and then all safely over the first. And 17 more to get over then. And Zartina Actress has now come through on the outside to take it up. And also coming through the top weight, Milton Damarel. So those two trying to put a bit more pace to the race. They get into the second, but the leader was slow over it, though. And the pace is not quickening at all at this point. So Zartina Actress for Alex Jerry is the leader by about a length and a quarter to Milton Damarel in second as they get to the third. Another plane one. The leader again got in close. So too did the horse on the outside, Ministry of Science. Back marker is still broader, but now Milton Damarel has taken it up, mainly due to Zartina Actress's shoddy jumping over the last couple of fences. They make their way towards the next, and Zartina Actress has been driven back up to reclaim the lead again. This time, jumped it nicely. All of them got over it well, although the back marker Broadhurst was a little bit untidy. And Zartina Actress then comes into this ditch. All over that nicely and the pace is now finally starting to quicken and they're beginning to get a little strung out as Zartina Actress then opens up now by two to three lengths to Milton Darren on the inside in second then Lindy O'Gay on the river has moved around the outside into fourth bit of a gap then to Cirque and Ruffle Bar and Spree and lets after that one wide on the track is Ministry of Science wider still Ash Kalara favourite as they get to the sixth all safely over again. Broadhurst just getting a little bit detached at the back as Zartina actress starts to put some pace to the race and is now five clear. Oh, Milton Damarel as they get to this ditch, which they all get over nicely. And Zartina actress continues to lead. Milton Damarel is second. Lindio is third. Spring that's now moved into fourth on the outside of Gale on the River Ministry of Science. Alongside that one, Cirque on its inside. Ruffle Bar is hugging the rail as it has done throughout the race so far as they get over the next slow jump there by circus seeing that one drop back a little bit the only grey in the field home run is starting to make a bit of a forward move on the outside and broadhurst continues to be the back marker they come up past the stand and this will be the final fence on the next circuit they're all safely over it and they race up past the stand and past the point from which they started by the winning post and Zartina Actress it is who's in the lead and will take them off on their second and final circuit with a clear lead of five lengths to Milton Damarel in second and then Ministry of Science has moved through into third. Spree and is four and Gallon River five and Lindy and Magic Contract. Home run is after that one and then Ruffle Bar just dropping back a bit. Dock of the Bay most is next then Maguro Blaine, Ash Kalara favourite, Cirque and finally Broadhurst who's been last all the way so far but it's Zartina Actress who continues to show the way, but only by about three lengths now to top weight Milton Damarel in second. Over this plane one they go, and all safely over that on Cirque is now the back marker, but it's Zartina Actress who continues to lead. From Milton Damarel in second, Gale and the River Ministry of Science together, on their inside is Lindy O. Magic Contract is making a forward move, Ruffle Bar's moved off the rail for the first time as they get over that next one on the field, beginning to bunch again now, as Ash Kalara favourite comes round the outside to coming to a challenging position as well. There's a mile still to go. And Zartina Actress takes the 12th with a clear lead mistake there by Gail on the river just as she was about to make a challenge and she suddenly dropped right to the back. But Zartina Actress continues to lead from Milton Darrell and Magic Contract. Ash Kalara favourite is closest to us. Then Maguro Blade 
next to that one. Homer on the Greys next. Lindio over on the far side. There's plenty of chances still in this one as they take the 13th of the 18. They're all still on their feet and over that one nicely. And Ashkelar, a favourite, has come through to challenge for the lead. Maguro Blade is in third. Then Magic Contract over this ditch. That was the 14th. And Cirque is now clear last. But Ashkelar, a favourite, has taken it up on the outside. But he's going to lose a bit of ground on this turn. And right over on the far side, Dock of the Bay most on the rail. He's probably going to come out of this turn in front. It's Dock of the Bay most. And the Grey Home Runners move through in a second. Maguro Blade is there. Ashkelar, a favourite, is there. Lindio and Rufflebar still there as well. Zartina Aquis is now out of it yet. Also still there is Ministry of Science as they get over the 15th. Just three more to take then now. And Ashkelari favourites in front from Lindio in second. Lindio powers into the lead. It's Lindio who's taking it up then with three to jump. Lindio's in front. Home runs in second. Over the final ditch they go. And it's Lindio in the lead from home run in second. Third is Ashkelari favourite. Then Dock of the Bay most still trying to run on his Ministry of Science. Maguro blades after that one. They're coming down to the final two then now. And it's Lindio who leads the Tommy Whittle field by a length. Lindio's in front. Over the second last. Gets over it nicely. Jumped away from it. One has now extended to a two length lead. It's Lindio from home run in second. Ashkelari favourite is back in third. They race down towards the final fence then there in the Tommy Whittle chase and it's Lindio pops over in the lead three lengths clear they're not going to get to this one I don't think it's Lindio who's clear Dock of the Bay most is a faller at the back but it's Lindio who's going to take this one racing up towards the line Lindio takes the Tommy Whittle chase from home run in second Ashkelara favourite third then Maguro Bay Muffle Bar and Ministry of Science and Milton Damarill and all the way back to Spring Inlet who might have been the last one to finish but it's a win for Padre Hogan and Lindy O. Really took that race by the scruff of the neck from two or three out. So Lindy O, the winner for Padre Hogan. Second was home run for Kevin Meenham. Third, Ashkelar, a favourite for David Robertson. Fourth, Maguro Blade for Padre Hogan. And fifth was Rufflebar for Graham Clutterbuck.